باسی سلام تاها سلام یاسی But this Quran requires explanation. There's a reason why the school masters in the Atara from Fikr Mutaqalayn, Kitab al-Mahi wa Itra fi Ahl al-Bayti, why? Because the manifestation of the Quran is a middle moment, right? Now, Sunni tradition and Shia tradition have a hadith that says that in the battle of Ahad, Rasulullah called upon somebody. When he called upon somebody, he recited the following. Nada aliyan madhar al ajayi. It's madhar. Right? Why is it madhar? Madhar means what? Place of the whore of the Ismail sifat of Allah. That is what madhar is. When Rasulullah says, Call on Ali, madhar al ajayi, what is he saying? He's saying to all of his people, Call on that Ali, which is the place of the whore of the Ismail sifat of Allah. If you ever want to see Allah in the physical world, go and look at what Allah has done. What is Ajayib, right? Ajayib is all the mysteries of creation from the beginning of time to the end of time. That is Madhara Ajayib. I remember reciting the entire Enejik once. Can you recite it? I can recite it. The entire first time is that we looked at the whole concept of Nadi Ali. And I will reserve it for the 19th of Ramadan in the Bahara of Mirfa Manipula. We look at it. Here it says, Nada Ali and Mawar al Ajayi, right? Just this in and of itself, how powerful it is. What, what, what does it mean? Remember one thing Asman Sifat of Allah requires a place of Bahur. How do you know Rabb is if there's no Bahur of Rabb? How do you know Khalif is if there's no Bahur of Khalif? For human beings to understand requires a Bahur. Mawar that was what? That place where Zahur. It's like a spring. That water comes out of. What is the man not money there for? He's a spring. That 1001, 99 names of Allah and all of creation spring out of. Let me put it another way. Another way. Give you another tradition. Imam Ali Salam says, he says, look, if Quran contains Ilm Azali, right? Knowledge of infinity, knowledge of time, space, creation, knowledge of Allah and Qur'an, Quran contains, remember there's 70,000 bathins, there's the bathin of the bathin of the bathin of the bathin, these words that have been brought together paint the picture of creation. Quran is a book which has words that contains creation. See the combinations come in a particular way. This is why if you take one word out, the combination collapses. So it's like a combination. This is what Allah tests the people. He says, look, if you can make something like this, make it. Even a line of this, why? Because if you insert the line, the combination messes up. So there's a combination there, there's a code there. That code needs to be opened. Or answers, a person had partial knowledge of this, he was able to bring the throat of the face in a blink of an eye. Partial knowledge of this, right? But this also, but this Quran requires explanation. There's a reason why the school of says in the Atara from Fikr Mutaqalayn, Kitab al-Mahi wa Itra fi Ahl al-Bayti. Why? Because the manifestation of the Qur'an is Amir al-Mu'mineen. Right? Now when Amir al-Mu'mineen walks, or when he talks, or when he enacts, he's enacting the Qur'an. Right? Now take it a step further. What is the Qur'an? Qur'an comes from the Arsh of Allah to the heart of the Prophet. It's there. Look at our traditions. Look at the Qur'an. It comes from the Arsh of Allah. It comes from the heart of the Prophet. Here Imam says, all of this can be compiled into the first chapter of the Qur'an and all of that goes back to the Bismillah. What is Bismillah? Bismillah is also Isma'abha. Our ulama said that certain, certain things contain Isma'abha. Ya Hayu Ya Qiyu contains Isma'abha. Bismillah contains Isma'abha. The certain verse of the Qur'an, for example the last three verses of Surah Hashim, contains Isma'abha. The name of Ali contains Isma'abha. When Bismillah is brought together on one nucleus, it's contained within Ali, right? But now let's go deeper. Then he turns around and he says, and all of that goes back to the bar. Why is the bar significant for? The bar has two lines. One line represents Mulk, one line represents Malakut. There's a connection line that goes together, which combines together all of al Nikon. It's the same in Hebrew, by the way, the bet. Take it a step further. Then the Imam says, I'm the dot under the bar, meaning what? For me springs everything else. 
the source, the madhar al ajail of creation is Ali ibn Abi Talib. Also, every letter of the Quran is a guardian. The guardian of the Ba is Jibreel. Guardian of the Ba. Amir al Mu'minin's wujud is that from his wujud, Noor came out. From that Noor, Hakikat of Jibreel was created. If we find his law to Amir al Mu'minin, this is why he studied from Amir al Mu'minin and nobody else did. He's going back to his father. In, this, in that world, look how lofty Imam is. In this world, he called himself Abu Tarab. Why? Because Torah is that, Turba is that thing that unites all of us. Abu Torah is that father, which is the body, and we are the grains of that body. No, let me put it another way. Islam's mujassam is Rasulullah. The nafs of the body is Amir al The root of the body is Fatima. The heart of the body is Imam Hassan al It's hadith, it's not me who said it. Everything I'm saying is hadith. Heart. Everything else are the Shia of Amir al-Mahmani. <laughs>